Today, it's time to step up your game. Let's take what we know about color and, I don't know, put it on steroids. Customize it even another level past what we already know how to do. To do that, we're going to install a Chrome extension from the web store and use it on other websites to get the colors that we want exactly on our own documents. So in Google Docs, and this will work in slides or sheets or wherever else you want to do, but we've worked in Docs, so let's keep working in Docs. You know how to change the page color, right? You go over here to File and Page Setup, and you change the page color. And you've got all these options, and you've got custom that you can go in and, and customize, right? We've done this. You can do the same thing with the same settings over here when you're changing the font color or the highlighting color. We have all of our standards. We can go into the custom. If you know the hex code for it, you can put that in and you can pick, or you can just, you know, look at the intensity of and, and see what suits you if you are one of those people who has the exact color in mind. Okay, there's another way to do this. And to do that, we're going to go over here and we're going to find, we're going to search for the Chrome Web Store. It should be one of the first things that comes up when you search for it. And in this Chrome Web Store, we're going to discover a world of things that we can add to our Chrome experience and therefore add to all of the documents and anything we create in Google. I want you to search for Colorzilla because I've used it and I like it and I can show you around in it. So. This is not the only one of these out there, but this is the one I know. A Colorzilla is an eyedropper, color picker, gradient generator, and other colorful, this probably says goodies, I think. You can see I've already got it added to mine. Yours is gonna have a button like this, it says add to Chrome. You're gonna click through the prompts, add it to Chrome, give it permission to look at your stuff. It will not hurt you, I promise. It has not hurt me in all these years that I've used it. And then it's going to add it to Chrome. And you'll see that it's got this green banner on the corner. And you'll also discover that it's up here in your bar. You'll notice all of these are extensions I have. Some I use more than others. But this one, I really, really recommend. Okay, so once you've got it installed, you can click on it. <laughs> notice Chrome doesn't allow picking colors from Chrome Web Store pages, which makes sense. We're going to use this eyedropper to pick a color off of another website that we want. So we want to pick something really recognizable and pretty memorable. I'm going to go with Dr. Pepper because this Dr. Pepper red, maroon, whatever color you want to call it is really distinctive. And I like Dr. Pepper. And so I'm going to go to the Dr. Pepper store, the Dr. Pepper web page. You could pick whatever you want to pick. Maybe it's a sports team. Maybe it's the Broncos orange that you want to imitate. Maybe it's something else completely, but pick, pick yourself a memorable color and go to that plate, that product's web page. Okay. Once you've done that, you're going to collect, select, click on Colorzilla and it's going to say color page, page color picker active. Notice we can also see the color history in Amazon and analyze it and look at the palette and do some other things. This is really the only thing we want to work with today. So it's active. And once you do that, you'll notice as I'm hovering over things down here where my cursor is, up at the top, it's showing me the point sample for what it is I'm looking at. Right now it's white, and then it's black, and then it's the silver, and then it's the red, or the black, or whatever it is. So I'm going to go right over here, and I want this color, this nice dark, obviously Dr. Pepper red. And I'm going to click. That color is now copied to the clipboard. If you saw right quick, you got the hex code for it. When I go into my document and I type Dr. Pepper, for lack of anything else to type, I can highlight that and go up here into custom. And right here in this box, I'm going to leave the hashtag and I'm going to hit Control V. And that's going to paste that color. Except I pasted the hashtag with it, so I don't need two of them. And that is my Dr. Pepper Red. I can change the intensity of it over here with the slider. I can leave it just like it is. And suddenly I have Dr. Pepper Red as the words for whatever else it is I want to do. And I can imitate that color anywhere I want to imitate that color, whether it's the page color, 
or the font color or the highlighting color, whatever else it is I want to do, I have exactly that color from their web page. Kind of cool, I hope. So this is Colorzilla. It's your extension. It's up here. It should be active. It's white listed. It should work. And it could give you a whole new option of saying, I really like that color over there. I want that in my stuff. I want that in my slides. I want that as my page background. I want that any of those places that I want that. All right. And what it's showing us is a hex code. And to see more about that, we can go to a website called colorhexa.com. Started to come up. There we go. Color Hexa is really helpful if you get into design and if you're a color person like I am and you want to know the hex code or you want to see the colors that go together. So I'm going to enter this color that I just had and it's going to tell me all about that color. What's it called? Where is it? What's its RGB code? It's 54.1% red, so much green, so much blue. And see in my K, it's this. Here's it's a dark red according to them. Here's all the color conversion picky information if I needed it. Here's other color schemes. If I wanted to go complementary or analogous or split complementary or triadic or monochromatic or tetra. I'm gonna say that wrong, so I'm gonna skip it. But you can see all the things that go with that color that you started out with. Here's all the ways that you could use that color scheme and find other colors that go with it. And I'll tell you the hex code for this blue and this green that are the same hue and the same family and and go with that color that you already picked. I use this a lot on websites when I'm designing pieces. I also use it just for my own entertainment. I want this and I want that. And from there, you can pick out exactly what it is you wanna see. You can also see what it looks like to someone who's colorblind, which is a good thing to know. We have people around us who are colorblind. We need to be sensitive to that. We can see how this is going to display for a wide variety of people. Okay, so two new color tools. One is Color Hexa, which has all kinds of information and shades and tints and tones and just tons of cool color coding possibilities. And the other is Colorzilla. That's an extension that you added, and it's gonna help you create things that you determine the color on. You're not stuck with what the defaults are. You can have exactly the colors that you see out there in the world and design your document in such a way that it imitates those colors exactly. So enjoy, use carefully, go out and create something that looks cool.